We heard a big bang. It was 10 nightmarish seconds. We were turning over in the wagon until we fell on our sides and until the commotion stopped. Then there was panic, cables everywhere, fire. The fire was immediate. As we were turning over, we were being burned. Fire was right and left. We came down. A fire had erupted next to us. This man here saw a hole, so we managed to get out from where we were. The crash occurred as the passenger train that was headed to the northern Greece city of Thessaloniki from the capital Athens emerged from a tunnel near the town of Larissa. Cranes lifted derailed passenger carriages in the morning as rescuers continued to score through the smoldering mangled mass of steel. One carriage stood on its side at almost 90 degrees from the rest of the wrecked train, with others tilting precariously. The passenger train was carrying 342 travelers and 10 crew, while two crew were on the cargo train, according to Hellenic train data. 66 of those injured were hospitalized, six of whom are in intensive care, a fire brigade official said. Many of the victims were thought to be university students on their way back from a long holiday weekend. The death toll was expected to rise further, officials said. The head of the emergency unit in Larissa Hospital, Apostolos Komnos, said most of the dead were young people in their 20s. Government spokesman Janis Okunomo said the two trains had been running towards each other on the same track for many kilometers before the crash. The local station master in charge of signaling has been arrested, a police official said, as investigators tried to find out why the two trains had been on the same track. The government declared three days of national mourning from Wednesday, March 1st to Friday, March 3rd, with flags flying at half-mast in a tribute to the victims of the crash. Greece's aging railway system is in need of modernization, with many trains traveling on single tracks and signaling and automatic control systems still to be installed in many areas.